I'm a simple circle with a giant cannon, and I need to destroy every other shape I come across. As I do that, we can upgrade our stats like bullet damage. We're going to put points immediately into that, that way we can destroy shapes quicker. We can even find fancier shapes and destroy them as well. I'm pretty sure that's going to give us extra points. While this is happening, we need to ourselves be aware that there's other shapes out there trying to destroy us. Because they'll take every opportunity to do so, so for now we're going to play somewhat passively and hide out. We're also going to add lots of bullet damage though, so if someone does try to mess with us we at least have some kind of chance. I'm going to try and circle away from that very aggressive player because they're much bigger and stronger than us. I'm pretty sure at this point just about everyone is bigger and stronger than us, so we're going to do our best to play not overly aggressive. We also took some damage there, so we're going to put health regen on. If I'm lucky, I can turn myself into Wolverine and we'll be able to regenerate through any damage we come across. Okay, health regen has gone up a few more points as well. We have plenty of damage. Health regen is definitely going to make me feel better. If we get hurt, we'll try and run away. I realize if I'm slow, I'm going to be a sitting duck for the enemies as well. There's strangely a lot of things to consider in a game that's about being a circle. Uh, we have upgrades as well. Sniper, machine gun, or twin. I'm going to try machine gun. Uh, hopefully we just kind of bully our way through. Oh, this does have a lot of range. I kind of regret this already. But maybe we can just sort of bully our way in if we get close. Uh, they've got to shoot through our bullets. Okay, they seem to have uh, lagged out or given up entirely. They might be a bot. Uh, whatever the case, we've got them. Four points. Okay, we're going to take bullet speed. Uh, we don't really need penetration. We need movement speed for sure. Lots of that. What we lack in everything, we make up for in movement speed. There's lots of shapes in this area, so I feel good about that, but I also worry that that's going to attract other idiots. Uh, the leader is still over there somewhere. We're going to be careful to avoid him. We're going to stay off the radar as long as we can. Uh, there is that guy though. We touched him just a little bit. He seems like he's quite strong, so we're just going to back away. We're going to take a little bit more max health and uh, health regen again. That way if we do get hit, we hopefully get a fighting chance to get away. And we'll take a little bit more movement speed. Whoops, we ran into a shape. So we do take damage for touching things. That is confirmed. We'll take some more bullet speed at this point. Let's get those bullets on target faster. The faster these go, uh, the less likely the enemies are to dodge them. The enemies can't dodge. They die quicker. We get points quicker. Okay, someone's got a big weird spray. It's probably this weirdo. Uh, don't know if we can actually fight through this. He's firing quicker than we are. Taking a bit of damage there. We'll go. This is the guy I can't do anything to. Like, he just regenerates as fast as we can hurt him. Okay, he hurts us much more than we hurt him. Got it. So we put ourselves back. We've given ourselves our levels back. Luckily, it let us do that. So bullet damage all the way up. That's the first thing. Uh, lots of health, lots of regen. Uh, it didn't give us all of our levels back. It gave us some of our levels back. I don't know if we level up if we get better stats, but some of these guys are just so much stronger than me that I've really got to be careful what fights I pick. Okay, let's try a uh, sniper this time, maybe. It's not very quick firing, but we can fire long ways. I already don't like this one little bit, but we're going to stick to our choice. The bullets also penetrate. We usually do quite well with penetration. Bullet speed could also be funny with this build. If we could just send these bullets out at light speed before anyone can dodge them, it'll hit them. Like we could be firing back at this guy, wherever he is. We're fighting into oblivion. People mostly seem to be trying to keep to themselves. They're not really trying to pick fights probably until they're stronger later. They probably actually played this before, so they're good at this. Uh, I'm putting at least one point into movement speed. I'm going to need more because I feel like a sitting duck. I'm basically sitting here slowly shooting. I probably do lots of damage, but I'm so slow that if someone wants to kill me, they're going to. I'm just going to try and find places like this and absolutely feast on all of these shapes. Uh, more health and more health regeneration while we're at it. We're coming up on a score of 3000 now, so we're starting to get a little bit of... What is that thing? Is that... Okay, that's a homing shape. Got it. I don't know if there's a correlation. Like, the more corners, the more points we get or not. But I'm just going to keep shooting all the shapes. There's this little guy behind us who seems pretty weak. Uh, actually, I guess bullet penetration would be good. If our bullets can penetrate through there, that would actually give us a big advantage. So let's actually try that. Two points into bullet penetration. Then hopefully we can just tear through their bullets. That seems to work. Now they can't really block my shots as well. And we can just get more points per bullet. We'll just fire out into all the shapes. Hopefully when they're in the nice line and then we get leveled up quick. Definitely going to take more movement speed. Reload speed would probably also be a good idea with this build, but literally everything would be good. Uh... That's not great. Uh, I'm not trying to fight you. I'm shooting the other shapes. He's trying to ram me, isn't he? Uh, okay, you stay over there, sir. Uh, why did these things chase me? Go get that guy. Do I get any more upgrades to my sniper or am I stuck with this? I kind of want something like the other people had where they're firing multi-shots everywhere. Okay, there's a guy up there that seems pretty weak, but there's also bullets in all directions. So I'm just going to move away. That's a lot of fast firing. We're going to fire back in their direction just to try and assert dominance. Think I found the edge of the map. Not sure what happens. I presume I get hurt if I touch that. So we're going to be careful here because we're also quite trapped if we're against the edge. Uh, so we're going to move away from that thing. Hunter, Trapper, Overseer, Assassin. Uh, 
Hunter? What does this do? I don't know what this is. Are these homing bullets? They might be homing or something. They seem to be moving. I don't know what these are. I don't like them. We went from sniper to this somehow. This isn't a sniper anymore. This feels useless. Uh, we did get a few more levels up there when I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, at this point, I guess maybe movement speed because our bullets are so slow and short distance that we kind of need movement speed to get close enough to actually do anything. My strategy so far of just firing at people who get somewhat close to me seems to be working. They don't really want to mess with me from there, so they seem to just back off. They don't want to fight. Like, my bullets are clearly doing something. I do think they're slightly homing, but not enough to actually be useful. So, I don't love Hunter. Hopefully I can just evolve right past this into something much, much better. Like, look what that guy has. He just fires a volley of bullets at me. The top of the leaderboard currently has a score of 88,000. I've got one-tenth of that. Less than one-tenth. I could probably kill Clean Spike over here. He's quite weak. So he's not really worth my time, uh, but that somehow doesn't bother me. Most things I do aren't worth my time, but that doesn't stop me often. That's an interesting strategy, actually. If he moves backwards, my bullets have to travel further to hit him, so he kind of gets away with it. Got him. Hey, I'm actually on the leaderboard. Uh, I'm in whatever place that is. Uh, this guy's very sad. I would be too if I was about to be murdered by me. Not sure what that thing is. That's not good. Okay, we're about to eat some damage, and I don't know what to do about it. There's like a shape boss. Okay, he seemed to have left me alone. Uh, I would fight him, but I can't because he gets close to me and destroys me. Health regen's going up. Leveling was very quick at first. Now it's getting slow. I do notice now I'm firing two bullets at a time, like a two-bullet salvo. Maybe I need better reload speed, actually. That would actually make this build a lot more dangerous. I feel like I'm running around out here completely clueless and everyone else knows what they're doing and actually builds good things. Look at all the blue uh, whatevers we got. This is going to be good for our leveling. Here we leveled up. Uh, reload's definitely going up and we should be able to fire hopefully a little bit quicker now. That's definitely extra damage for us. Uh, there is a smasher guy over there who's actually getting low on HP. I thought about third partying that, but we're a little bit going to mind our own business, except for Kanye here. We're definitely stronger than him. There's also him too. We are going to see if we can get some shots in on him. Close, close, close. Nope, he's getting away. I'm learning so much about shapes in this game though. Maybe this is also one of those builds that's like really slow right now and bad because I'm the hunter or whatever it is. But once we get beyond this, if you manage to persevere and push through this, you actually get a lot stronger. Uh, that guy's fairly weak. We're going to fire some bullets in his direction, not overly uh, aggressively, but just to show him this is my part of the map. The USA guy is back. He's coming for me now. Wow, he's quick. Why is he so quick? How is that fair? Uh-oh. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. He's so much quicker than me. Yeah, managed to spawn back at a pretty good level. Bullet damage is going up and so is reload. So hopefully we can just rapid fire. Yep, that's a little better. That's not a good start. We need to get away from all of this immediately. Uh, max health, uh, that and then health regen, also that. Now we can fire quick. Now we got, let's try twin. That way we can really rapid fire. Yeah, this actually might be a good DPS finally. This one feels a lot better. Uh, we're kind of spawned in the middle of a pretty hectic battle. We're going to do our best just to get away from that for a second. My bullets don't go very far very quickly, but there's a lot of them in front of me. So if something does get in front, I should be able to at least intimidate them away. Uh, we're still not very quick, but let's give ourselves more health. And we'll put health regen on. It's nice to be somewhat tough, even though that last guy destroyed me just by touching me somehow. I do like this build quite a bit. I would like a little bit more speed on it because I feel very slow. I do also kind of like how we don't fire very far in a way because that way I'm not really getting anyone's attention. Like my bullets aren't going halfway across the map and telling everyone where I am. I can quietly sit down here. When we move forward, we can put a whole bunch of bullets going. We can just chase them along. We got another level up. Let's get a little bit of bullet penetration. That way, if someone does come at us, our bullets hopefully go through theirs and all the way to their core. There's usually a big chunk of these blue things right here and like this little 10% of the way up this wall. So I'm going to try and use that to my advantage. There's definitely someone down there. Ow, they took a little hit on me. Smile. Uh, we outgunned them by quite a bit, but we're going to let them go. We gotta employ at least some kind of strategy to get ahead in this game. Ooh, look at the options we have now. Quad tank, triple shot, triple shot, twin flank. Uh, twin flank will be fine because at least now we should get a lot of accidental damage. Uh, clean spike's gotta go one way or the other here. Clean spike's gonna need some damage. Yeah, you better run. This is where we need more speed. Not sure what happened to him there. Evil clown. Uh, okay, we're just gonna move all the way away from that. That thing's way too strong. Quick apparently. Why is everyone so much quicker than us? Everyone just sort of outruns us. This isn't fair. Okay, this guy's totally just going to bully me to death. No. Okay, this time we're going to start with maximum movement speed because that seems to be a thing. Then we're also going to do maximum bullet damage and health regen as much as we can. 
movement speed is just going to get us in and out of trouble so much. Uh, we lost a few times there just because we're slower very slightly than other things, but that's enough to completely bone us. The guy that killed us out was the best, uh, the strongest on the map, and I did see the build of uh, two of the last guys to destroy us. They had the same type of build, which may not mean anything at all, but I can't help but wonder if that one is particularly strong. We're going to try avoiding things. We're also going to get uh, three levels of reload here so we can fire quickly. We need to be able to fire quick just to fend people off. This is extra DPS. We're moving away from whatever that is and definitely away from whatever that is. Okay, we're going to go twin stick again. Twin shooter. No, lots of damage going out. We're very quick. We're like a little ball of destruction. The guy that just destroyed us last round had about 80,000 when he destroyed us. He's now up to almost 130,000, so he's going to be a problem. And I feel like the stronger you get, the more the shapes you accidentally kill anyway, just because you're firing so many bullets everywhere. So that kind of gives them an advantage. We're going to get two more points of max HP. This guy's only got a thousand. I'm pretty sure I'm quicker than him, so we could probably just sort of bully him. What is happening? So maybe movement speed plus body damage. Now we can hit people really hard. Obviously, we want lots of health if we're going to do that. So our bullets are going to be not great, but if we touch things, we should be able to destroy them. Because that's sort of what that guy just did to me. Don't know if this is going to work super well. Uh, this guy's got a similar build to me, but the rate he's shooting makes me think he's not really that strong. I've just put one point into max health and health regen. Our guns do so little damage now, uh, but we take damage every time we need to hit someone. So I don't really know if this is a good idea, considering everyone seems to be able to also outrun us. Okay, we're going to hit liquid factory here. Got him. That actually worked. We lost a lot of HP, but we destroyed that guy. So maybe that could be a strategy of ours. If we uh, have lots of body damage like that, we just got to get close enough to ram them. Because their bullets probably won't kill us quickly, but our bodies will destroy. Okay, max health uh, points into regen because we need our HP to come back on. This is scary being this low. Uh, Evil Clown was here. That's uh, the second place on the leaderboard. He's obviously quite strong. So because he's in the area, I'm leaving. Our health is back to full at this point, which feels good. And it's regenerating pretty quickly so I can ram my way through to victory. This guy's got 3.8. We got to get to him though. Come on, touch him. Shoot him back. It's a war of attrition. He's very slightly faster than us somehow. Maybe because we're bigger. Oh, we're going to get him. Or, 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 or we're going to get absorbed into him. I don't understand how this game works. Okay, maximum movement speed is clearly important. Bullet damage is clearly important. Then from there, we're just going to give ourselves lots of health to give ourselves a fighting chance. And off we go. So far, basically, every time I get in a fight with something, I end up losing, and I have no idea why. Uh, from here, we're going to go back to... Let's try Machine Gun, because this can fire nice and quick, and hopefully uh, get us the damage we need to just plow through some things. At least it's nice and quick to level up in these early stages. We got four points, so we're going to put that all into health regen. We need our health to come back. I also got the uh, arrow notification that the leader was nearby. I'm getting away from that. Second place on the board only has 20,000, I think, because the leader's just obliterating everyone at this point. No one can get close to that. I just been zoned out minding my own business and we got a few levels. I want bullet penetration. Uh, let's actually put our reload up so we can fire quick. We just need a lot of uh, damage going out to hopefully be able to just at some point overpower anyone at all. I feel like we lose every fight we get in. Like this guy in theory should be stronger than but he just zooms away and like I can't get close to him. It might just be a bad build for us or a bad build for him but like I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. So we'll just cruise back this way away from the hail of bullets and try and mind our own business. We're going to put some health regen on. Because if anyone sees us with low health, they definitely pounce on that immediately. Okay, we're going to take a bit more bullet speed to hopefully be able to outplay something for once. Uh, and so far, it's still not working. His bullets seem to defeat our bullets. Maybe we have to get close with this build, but it's scary to get close because then they touch us and we die. Like, I can't even hit this guy. Oh, I got destroy your gunner. Uh, I panic picked this, which I think is whatever that is down below. So at least we can fire lots of shots out. I guess the upgrades are offered probably depending on like what your like, upgrades are so far. And because we had really good damage and uh, uh, reload speed, we ended up with this thing. Mm, which seems pretty good. We might need a little more bullet penetration and or uh, bullet speed. Okay, I found what's apparently the destroyer build uh, that was offered to me, but I panicked away from. But yeah, that seems pretty strong. Wow, he's uh, hitting me from anywhere he wants. Yeah, he's just going to follow me around. I think he's pretty slow, though, so we're hopefully just going to get away. We're going to travel through all of this, and hopefully everyone will fight each other and not me. Okay, there we go. Max health is going up by a single point, which is good, because that thing is still trying to get us. The destroyer guy's actually really hurt. Okay, I don't think I got that a recording, because I was uh, panicking. Auto gunner. Streamliner. Okay, let's try auto gunner. Okay, we have a gun that auto fires now, too. 
But we got 20,000 in a single kill from killing that one guy because we chased him so hard. So we're definitely giving ourselves max health and regen now. So we're definitely intimidating. Yeah, stats are going up. The leader is over there, so let's stay away from him. If he sees us, he'll definitely destroy us quickly. The auto gun's just good for just, like, collecting experience points. I don't even have to think or try anymore. It's doing all the work for me. There's also something up here. Uh, we might actually be able to bully that somewhat. No, he's going to get away, so we'll let him. I don't like the way he came shooting back up this way, though. It makes me think there's something down there he doesn't like. Uh, and if he's intimidated by something, I should also be intimidated by something. Okay, he's getting close. Oh, it's one of these builds that are really hard to deal with. Yeah, okay, he gave up on us, though. I don't know why I can't hurt those ones, but they are indestructible. That's clearly a very popular build because so many people have it, and every time I see it, it tends to just destroy me. The uh, leader is up above. That would be where all the bullets are coming from, so we're going to move way away from that. Uh, it seems sort of like we're maxed out here at about level 45, but we could definitely bully these guys. He's doing way more damage than he should, at least in my opinion, because I'm the one taking damage. But that hurts so bad. We're over a score of 40,000 though, but I don't know if we can get any more points to put into things, or they might just be really, really, really far between. There was a tiny little guy down here, score of uh, less than 500, so we'll go ahead and <laughs> take him out. This is still so slow, like he's got such a low score. I don't get why we need more damage, clearly. That guy's firing in all directions. That's a lot of fun, but that's also really hard to fight because we're constantly dodging bullets here. We gotta get closer to fur bullets to reach him. Those things are so quick. Like, we have max speed and he's still faster. Okay, the leader's below us. That's why he circled around, I think. Uh, this isn't great. So we are going to have to get out of this spot because he's not going to stop on us. We're hardly hurting him even. Okay, we got to keep going. We hurt him just a smidge. Uh, okay, he clearly knows what he's doing. He's boxing me out. Okay, we got to get away. Oh, we did so much damage to him, but he's doing more to us. Uh-oh. Get away, get away, get away. Wow. Whatever those things are, unbeatable. Okay, this time I'm trying something different. It's an absolutely harassing build. I've got max damage, max uh, fire rate, and max something else. So we could basically just uh, avoid their bullets. Like, they can fire as much as they want, but uh, my bullets eat theirs. So we can just annoy the life out of people like this. And we can just have a straight-up firefight with him. We're pretty brittle. We're basically a glass cannon, but boy, is this a lot of fun. Uh, this guy's getting, uh, getting it from both sides here. I completely misclicked that, so we screwed that up, but we got him. Now we'll see if we can get this other guy dead. So far, this build is pretty good for just beelining straight towards people. Uh, let's try Destroyer this time. Oh, that's interesting. Mm, we're probably going to need bullet speed on this, just because that thing's going to be easy to avoid for most people. That's a very interesting shot, though. Uh, I feel like people are really, really easily going to avoid this, but I'm hoping it's like a cannonball that just goes through everything. Yeah, not the most functional build. Oh, come on. Yeah, we got him. We killed him. That's how you need to utilize this build, by just basically running into him and going, surprise. Uh, we're going to put some uh, HP regen on, because uh, we're going to need to uh, regenerate some with this build, naturally. Look at him. I got uh, to be like, oh no, I'm running. I'm scared. Now get him close, and fire. More HP regeneration. We're going to get hit. Hey, it's the same guy we killed. And I ran into the summoner. This was Mimi, but the build before was much better anyway. So we've found out what a max level build is.